I ch- choose you, P- 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 Pikachu. Pika P. Welcome, boys and girls, to Movie yeah. Talks. I'm Tech, and I'm Fish, and, and it t- looks like today, today we're, we're watching, watching the Pokemon, Pokemon movie. movie, the first one, uh, the first movie, or also known as Mewtwo Strikes Back. Now, we're specifically watching the American version of the movie, which actually starts differently than the Japanese version of the movie. The Japanese version of the movie that we found out while researching starts out with, like, all the Japanese titles and stuff like like that and starts out differently, whereas the American version uh, starts out another way. So, we're watching the American version. We're Uh, watching it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, You can rent it on YouTube, on Google Play, on Amazon. Just... Hope and pray that it's the American version because if, if it's, it's the one that starts out with just the bubbles, so you're yeah, watching if it, if the right one. If it starts one. out with the bubbles, it's the right one. If it starts out with the Japanese animation company's logo, it's not the right one. If you're watching that one, just skip to the point where they're where the where the scene where the bubbles show up. Yeah, and then, and then then you're good. It just doesn't have the pre-scene. Right? Yeah, there. Yeah, there's like a scene that's missing from the one that's on YouTube. I don't know why, but yeah, who knows? But to sync up this movie with our audio track, basically you're gonna pause this video when I tell you the pause, and you're gonna hit play when I tell you the play. Simple as that. So to sync it up with our audio track, you're gonna go to the movie. You're gonna hit play. About three, like a second in, you're gonna see little bubbles go from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. As soon as they go completely to black, as soon as the bubbles are off screen, you're going to hit play on this video. It's about three seconds in. So once the bubbles travel all the way from the bottom to the top of the screen and they're all the way off the screen to where it's just a black screen, you're going to hit play on this video. But for now, press pause. Inspector Gadget. Why is, that, why is that what I thought? <laughs> I, why is that the first thing I don't you know say why I love that. Ooh, hello. We're under the water. We're having a good old time. Is this time. SpongeBob? Is this SpongeBob? Uh, hello. I remember this announcer at the beginning of every Pokemon episode. It's like... His voice is so nostalgic to me. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's kind of weird. Um, I haven't seen this movie since I was a, a kid, and you actually watched it recently. Yeah. Which I uh, actually I might have seen it like I, I I always see bits and pieces of this movie just because it's so like nostalgic and memorable and stuff like that. Yeah, um, people share it a lot on Facebook too, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, stuff like that. It's just so memorable. And of course, the Pokemon like the Pikachu tear and gif gets gets me every single time, every so, single time. So uh, let me ask you, we really we didn't talk about this on our Pokemon podcast, but uh-huh. uh but no, I'm not talking about the video game. I'm talking about just the anime. Pokemon, Pokemon in general, whether it be the video mm-hmm. game or the card game, the cart- or card, the cartoon card game. What was the first thing that like was that you remember owning of Pokemon, or that like? Uh, it would be the game. The uh-huh. game. Well, I originally started out. Uh, I originally started out watching the Hoenn season of Pokemon. Um, and I think because of that, I asked for the games because I had friends that had the cards and I wasn't too interested in the cards. Yeah. But once I got the games, I started collecting the cards and stuff like that. No, I think what made me start collecting the cards was actually getting the DVD for this movie. Really? Yeah. Because I got Mew. Um. Or Mewtwo. I actually forget which one it was because, uh, they handed out, of course, one of the cards at the theaters. Yeah. And then you got a card with the DVD. And I think that's what kind of set me off. Or maybe it was because one of the fast food chains was holding like like toys the toys. For the movie and but stuff But it like was that. crazy toys. Like I, I remember this because my, my sister got it as a kid when we got this movie. Was we got this. It was a Pokeball. It was like oh, a little. Oh, the Burger King ones where it's yeah, the it was, giant one with the yeah, shiny. It was, it, was a, it was a Pokeball that was like a little statue. When you press the button, it opened up and you got a gold fucking yeah, like gold solid Pokemon gold card. Pokemon card. I still have it. I have It's two. of a Jigglypuff. <laughs> I have a Pikachu and I have a Mewtwo one. I have. I believe it's a Jigglypuff. Maybe it's a Pikachu. But I, I, I believe it's. I believe it's a Jigglypuff. I don't know why Jigglypuff was one of the cards. I don't know why I'm remembering it as a Jigglypuff. I it's, think she has a bit in this movie, like she does in a, like a lot of the episodes. You know, I don't remember, but something got me into the cards. But I was I was mainly into the games. But I started the anime on Hoenn. Really? And then I went back. I well, that's because that's what I woke up to every morning on TV. 
That's that's what was on Saturday mornings whenever I turned on the TV was Pokemon. I always started. I started from the very beginning. I honestly don't know. I tried to. Think well, back. also I didn't have any control over where I started yeah. because when I started watching, I was a kid, so it was just whatever was on Cartoon Network. I, because my parents weren't into Pokemon. My parents weren't into Pokemon either, but I just remember I d- actually don't remember the first uh, Pokemon thing I owned. I remember liking it ever since. As Dude, how would you feel to be a back. clone? I don't know. Ask Nico. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dude, Mewtwo is a strong bitch, but also isn't a strong bitch. Like he's he's shown as like the strongest Pokemon ever. But I can count at least fifteen more Pokemon that's probably more dangerous than Mewtwo. This movie makes him look like a Super Saiyan. Well, like, to to, yes. to people at this time, this was the strongest Pokemon. I mean, well, yeah, at the time. And then, and then like you they start, had to, they just have to keep one up in themselves. Yeah. So they like they make the Pokemon of life and death and stuff like that and like reality eternal darkness, reality, the god of Pokemon. <laughs> um Oh, hello. Mewtwo's actually my favorite Pokemon of all time. Holy shit, you fucking scrub. Of course it is. I just like I just like the fact that he's like a man made Pokemon. No, I, I get that. No, I, I completely understand that. I don't know. Whenever it comes to like people's favorite Pokemon, like I always like I I always like the people that are like a Pikachu. Yeah. Or like uh I guess Charizard's not a, a too hot example because Charizard's a pretty boss ass Pokemon. Yeah, Charizard's I guess, just a good Pokemon. I guess when general. it's like one of the like the staples, like Pikachu or one of the legendaries and stuff like that, I'm like I feel like Oh shit. My bad. I feel like there's a difference between uh, a favorite Pokemon and like your favorite Pokemon to have on your team. Yeah, no, I just like Mewtwo just because, again his story and uh My favorite Pokemon's the same either way. Good old Wish Cash. Wish Cash. Fucking yeah. Love Wish Cash. Honestly, I have two favorites. If I if I was a fucking PokeTuber, that would be my mascot would be Wish Cash. Wish Cash? Yeah. Like, uh, hands you, down. You you told me that. Is this was, what, was it Emerald or no? It was, it was uh, Diamond and Diamond. Pearl. I did an egg lock and Wish Cash like, sent me through that game. Like, Wish, Ca- Wish Cash was like my, my, my rock. I was in a hard place, and he was my rock. You know what I wish they did more? What? Is I wish they'd talk more about, Did like, you the hear fucking site. Team Rockets coming back in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? I'm sorry to interrupt. That no, no, just, no, uh, Giovanni it, being here reminded me that. No, I was, ta- I was talking about that. I was talking about Giovanni and wish they'd, like, go into more, like, mob stuff with oh, him. Oh, yeah. That no. would have been cool to, to see. Um... Like but when no. I when I think of Team Rocket and when I think of Giovanni, I literally see him as the Godfather of Pokemon. Yeah, basically. Um, so no, I can completely agree with that. But they're they're coming back in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I don't know exactly in what way. I'm pretty sure it's like you know the Battle Tree in Sun and Moon. Yeah, it's like that, but all the villains. Oh, cool. And uh, Ro- Team Rocket's coming back as Team Rainbow Rocket. <laughs> oh, hello. Why I forget why he puts the armor on him. It um, he was just talking about it while we were while we were talking. He, it's just like, it's so he can uh, so uh focus his power. He, well, he, I feel like it's for him. From he told Mewtwo to focus his power, but I think it's also to just you know control Mewtwo a bit. Yeah. Okay. That's like I I honestly I don't remember too much about this movie. I. I oh just, no, Team Rocket's capturing all the wild Taros. Here in a minute when it goes when when we first see Ash, that mm. that Pokemon intro is my favorite version of the Pokemon intro. Oh really? Yeah. Also, for the longest time Alakazam was actually my favorite Pokemon. Really? I really like, like Alakazam. The uh the first Pokemon I would always try to catch in every single Pokemon game I ever got was Abra. Abra is such a bitch to catch to. I, I guess that's why I liked it so much was just that challenge. But that was usually like the first thing I would always add to my team or as soon as it became available this was an get Abra. an Abra. Because I remember in uh, the Hoenn, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, like the first time you got it was actually like near the second gym. Uh, Bra- Brafford, I think that was the gym leader. The fighting type gym yeah. in Hoenn. In that cave, there was like a 0.5% chance of running into an Abra. And I I always went after it. There there was always four Pokemon I always went after in Hoenn. 
One was, of course, the starter, which I always either chose. Like, hoe and starters, I was always equal on. Yeah. Um, but I always made sure I got a Talo. Always made sure I got a slack off. And always made sure I got an Abra. See, I always. I don't know why. <laughs> I always picked Trico. Uh-huh. Trico was my favorite out of those. And then uh, a Talo. What was the other big ones on my team? But I uh, like the Hoenn starters. I always felt pretty even on. Yeah, no, I like a lot. I like all three of them: Swampert, Blaziken, and Sceptile. Yeah. They're all really cool. I actually never really had super strong opinions on the starters. Besides, uh, usually Grass is my least favorite. Usually, um, oh goodness gracious, he's destroying the world. Honestly, it's water for me. Water's right, normally yeah. my least favorite. Um. I usually like most of the, like usually my 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 rankings are water I almost always pick first. Yeah. Fire I always go through second round and then grass I always do last. Um but sometimes if the grass designs are just hella cool like fuck it sun and moon to yeah. you I oh my god. <laughs> no, I sun and moon is probably Sun and Moon of- is the first time I didn't pick a water starter my first go through. Really? Yeah. Cuz you like to I that much. Uh-huh. I um fucking love Decidueye. I never like thought about what like what uh type the Pokemon were when I picked the starters. It was norm, but I I do know it's normally fire grass. Um, hey man, you can get my 3ds right now. I haven't opened it up in five years, but <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna get Sun and Moon? It comes out this month. I actually mean, around the time that this is gonna be uh uploaded, Sun and Moon will be out. Huh. Maybe you want to throw that in our uh, throw that in our tags. <laughs> <laughs> ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Even though it has nothing to do with it. Mewtwo Strikes Back. Awesome three D reflective fonts. Bye bye. Okay, it's gone. Let me actually this scene see right here. Also, this shows my other favorite Pokemon in this scene: Dragonite, the Pikachu. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ultra. It comes out November seventeenth. So literally. Yeah, no, the Friday the Friday that this releases is Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Crazy times. Wow. Uh, that's that's a coincidence and a half. <laughs> God, it's weird. I uh, I know I we um we live in the same town as uh the guy that voices Brock. Yeah. I think that's just kind of crazy. Yeah. He's he's turned into like a country music si- singer. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, wait, did they bring him back to do Sun and Moon's anime? Because Brock is in that. I don't know. Because they <laughs> did. They did. He only did it for a little bit. of. He was the first one. And uh, I don't know when he quit doing it. But there's a point where he quit and had another. Ah, uh, gotcha. Because you have Eric Stewart and then you have Bill Rogers doing it. And this yeah. is our Eric Stewart. He does uh, James Oh, Pikachu as well. sounds weird. Uh-oh. Oh, here it We're is. We're starting. Yes! Hello! Throw that Pokeball. You know what was always weird to me? That the Pokeballs expanded. Yeah. I don't know why, but because all the toys and, like, and in the games and stuff like that, it never showed that. Like, it never shows the Pokeballs expanding from their small state to their large state. For me, it was always one of those things where, like, just logically to me, I expected them once they had a Pokemon inside to stay large. Yeah. But they don't. <laughs> like, um You know what I never understood though? What's up? Isn't Don Fan like a third generation Pokemon? Is it? And he's in the first movie. Is Don Fan Don Fan's Hoenn. That's that's what I'm saying. He's third gen. I know, that's but this came out in 97. Yeah, I know, right? This or, is the first time. No, 98, sorry. This is the first time anyone saw this movie or saw this Pokemon. And I and I bet they didn't see it until like two two generations later. And I bet they were like, what the fuck? Where did this Pokemon go? Yeah, true. I'm trying to. Let me see. Uh, No, it was Gen 2. Is it? So it actually makes sense. Because Gen 2 was about out at this time. Did this did Gen 2 come out right after the movie? Uh, Let me see. <laughs> Back to the phone. Back to the phone. Let's see. 
Pokemon Gen 2 release. I still need to play Gen 2. Even though one of my favorite starters of all time comes from Gen 2, Totodile. Really? I still have yet to ever play Gen 2. <laughs> Even like the remakes? Yeah, no, I, I I wanted to, but I never did. You well, should, it's so How fun. does Pokemon Gen 2 release? Just bring up Pokemon Go. Fun topic, they're making a, a, a Harry Potter Go. It just announced today. I they've been talking about that for a while though. I've heard that ever since I think ever since Pokemon Go came yeah, out. Yeah, no, I I've heard a lot about it too. Come on. 1999. So, this was a year before Gen 2. Okay. So yeah, that that's so not that, as yeah, weird that, as that, I thought that, it was. That, that that shows a little bit. Oh cool. no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a pun. How funny. <laughs> you know, the the fact that uh, Jesse and James have lasted so long in the Pokemon anime baffles me. Me too. No, no, no. It- like, okay, because in every single new an- like series in the anime, of course, they go to new regions, which has new bad guys. But always, even though... Like, after, like, Gen 2, Team Rocket was officially disbanded. I wonder what. But Jesse and Jane still do shit. <laughs> I don't know who they work for anymore. They still work for Team Rocket in the anime. But Team Rocket's disbanded. <laughs> Apparently not in the anime. Like, I feel like they're Team Rocket, but they're the last people of Team Rocket. And they well, just won't accept that they failed. <laughs> Like the what if like what if like Giovanni's just been dead in the chair and they just sit there and well, bring I mean, him Pokemon? You know, Giovanni's <laughs> coming back Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so who knows what's going on? Who knows what's happening? I that's the main thing that I've always wanted. Every gen ever since Team Rocket went away is I've wanted them to come back. Cause I want to see what the current Pokemon company would do with a Team Rocket like resurgent story. I want them to go full, like, as you say, I want them to go full fucking mob status. I, yeah, it'd be a cool, it'd be a cool movie to see. Or Mafia, sorry. Yeah. Dragonite's such a cool fucking Pokemon. I love it. I was him. never into Dragon types. Uh, Sun and Moon had the, I mean, we talked about this in the Pokecast. Sun and Moon had the very first Dragon type I ever used on my team. Besides, I th- like, Charizard or... Uh, yeah, I mean, he doesn't count unless he have his X crystal or whatever. Oh, yeah, true. Or Y uh, crystal. But, yeah, the, the very first uh, dragon top I ever used was Sun and Moon's. Uh, Kokomoko or whatever? Kokomojoko? Yeah. I don't know. No, he's one of my favorite Pokemon, favorite Pokemon from that gen. He's so cool. He's, he, what, he's a fighting dragon type, yeah. and I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm kind of pumped for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but I'm also not. I It's kind of a mixed bag. Like, I want to get it, but I also, like, when am I going to have the time to do this? <laughs> I'm, I'm the same with, like, Moon, the time. but Sun and Moon, I literally beat, like, three days after I got the game. Like, I played it nonstop for three days. Um. Well, uh, I mean, Ultra Sun I haven't looked enough about Ultra Sun and Ultra it's Moon. It's got some pretty I- cool shit. But I don't know. I don't know if it's enough that like warrants another like forty to fifty dollar price tag on a game. I mean, for me, it's like yeah, we're not getting any new. Po- oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> like we're not getting any new Pokemon, but we also are because we're getting a new Alolan versions of Pokemon. Yeah, we're also getting a new story set like, so like thirty years in the future. Or Wait, something? so like there's a new story too? Oh as well? no, yeah, completely new story. Okay, so I see. I thought Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was just like a re-release of it. No. Okay. No, it's like it's like a uh, uh black and white, uh, black and white too. Yeah, but same bla- timeline, different times. God, I hate black and white and black and white too. Well, but that's the only example that I have. I know, I know, it's the only <laughs> because example, I mean I can't just... use diamond, pearl, and platinum because all three of those were the same game except yeah. fucking like platinum had like an expansion pack on it. <laughs> that's that's what I thought. Ultra Sun. No, Ultra it's Moon it's a be. it's a new story. Okay, well, yeah, I actually might pick it up. Um, 
Uh, again, I don't know when like, I, I I don't it. remember if it happens right after Sun and Moon or if it happens like five years after Sun and Moon or it happens like 30 years after Sun and Moon. I'm interested to see. I, I'm pretty sure it happens right after Sun and Moon because it's still dealing with Ultra Beast. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the like the story deals with the Ultra Beast. Really? Yeah, I think that's the main like thing. Because you have like the Ultra Beast that didn't appear in uh, Sun and Moon, like Necrozma and stuff like that. Jesus Christ, Mewtwo. You are so fucking angsty. A mean fellow. I feel like this has turned more into another fucking Pokemon podcast than us like watching the movie. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's still a good movie. It's it's a fucking amazing movie. It makes me cry every fucking time. I'm gonna have to shut my little eyeballs whenever that scene comes up. God, man, some Pokemon are just freaky. I like that sound effect on Kingler. Yeah, like it's fucking. <laughs> it's just metal. like a guillotine, like a fucking slapping. It's not like a a clapping sound, like a clapper board. It's just like it's so sharp. It's like you're sharpening a bra- a blade. Who cares about Togepi? What I'm worried about is uh. I don't know why I was going to say something. I was trying to pick one of the characters to talk about your clothes sticking to your skin and being able to see yeah. everything. But, but the only it, one that wasn't like hiding their body parts was Brock. <laughs> <laughs> Man, ever. the worst storm literally just ever, <laughs> ever <laughs> recorded on earth. Remember how Brock was like after every single girl, like nurse joy. Yeah. He always went at, like he always went after uh, Officer Jenny too, and honestly, I like Officer Jenny more. Really? Yeah. I can. I see think that. it's just because she's blue. In all honesty. Well, I don't know. I also don't like. I like the spiky hair more than I like the big, big old like hoop things. <laughs> yeah. No. And who's Jenny. your favorite? Who's your favorite Pokemon companion out of all the anime? Out of all the anime. Uh huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I liked uh I liked May and Max. Dude, I I'm down for that. I'm down for May and Max. May and okay. Max were my favorite. Uh, for the longest time I literally thought Misty and May were the same fucking person. Really? Yes. <laughs> Weird. Cuz they I don't know, in my mind I've always literally just thought they were like they looked the same to me. They just had a different color palette. Yeah. And different hair. See, no, in my mind I always saw them with the exact same hair. That's weird. Yeah, I know. Um. Uh. Well. Uh. I think I don't. I'm trying to think of who my favorite companion would be. Ah. Uh, Jesus. I think it might actually be. Ooh, gong gong. No, I actually I can't pick because the only like full out season of the anime that I've watched fully through and I don't want to pick the originals. I don't want to do Mr. Brock. Yeah. But I I mean I would technically be May and Max because that's the one I fully watch to. I mean I'm really uh I've been dig honestly I dig the Sun and Moon anime. I need to watch it. I just, it's I, I, I like honestly, the animation style. It's like really a, good. Uh I mean it's such a departure from what the the anime normally looks like, but I, I dig it. Dude, just uh, eggs float. Just throw Togepi into the water and just just balance. Jesus Christ. What a f- <laughs> bunch of fucking freaks. <laughs> I like how they've just strapped Meowth on the front. <laughs> That'll Guys, what do we need to sell <laughs> to sell our Viking shit? Yeah, what do we need to like sell that we're Vikings? Oh, let's let's duct tape a live animal in a dress with a helmet to the front of our ship. And the animal and they said fall yes. For it. And they fall for it. Oh yeah, it's also an anamorphic animal that can actually talk. The one, so the it one, agreed. It agreed to this plan. I never understood. Like I understand why they made meow talk, but I also don't understand why meow talks. I understand why they made why they made him talk, but I still don't. I still don't understand why he talks and like I why just it's, said that. <laughs> okay, I didn't know if the. I, I thought you just meant like you didn't understand why he talked at all. Like the point of him talking. No, I I literally said I understand why he talks, but I don't understand why he talks. I literally just said exactly what you just said. Okay. 
But either way, are they still, I don't, have they ever explained? They have. Yeah. They have explained how Meowth learned to talk. I don't exactly remember it. But they were, they were, they did. Oh, yeah, I actually remember that now. That was a sad arc. Yeah, Cause but, the, about Meowth like, because like. Meowth was pretty abused. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I get it, but I don't get it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, why is Meowth the one Pokemon that can talk? Besides, like, the super smart ones. Yeah, like, like Mewtwo. Uh, and I think Deoxys. No, Deoxys didn't talk. Uh, but it was always like super weird to me that Meowth is the one exception to the rule. I uh, and then all the other Pokemon's can only say their name, <laughs> or some gurgles, if they don't have a mouth. Story. I always hated that in the Pokemon, Pokemon games that they what? don't say their names. You know what really they upsets cries. me. And what really upsets me is in these new games. Pikachu does. Pikachu, yeah, just but Pikachu. No one else. <laughs> but no, yeah, no other fucking Pokemon will do their fucking cry. It upsets me so much. If you're gonna take the time for Pikachu, do, do it, it for the rest of them. Jesus, man. Sorry, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean for my voice to crack right there. <laughs> it just did. <laughs> you sound like a that Sonic fan. Same with the Sonic kid. Yeah. What did Pokemon ever do to you? Hold your breath. You've only been underwater for at least 20 seconds. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at them clowns. Can't tell if those are just CGI or... Uh... No, that's drawn in there. What are you talking about? Well, I was going to go into the After Effects complexities of what I actually thought it would be. Uh, that actually kind of looks like a noise field that's inverted. And, uh, well, we won't get into specifics about uh <laughs> What do you want from me? Okay? I'm just watching this weird fucking thing. Okay? I, you know what? I wish the video games were based off the movies. I'll say it. <laughs> I'll say it, okay? I like, want I story. want a Pokemon game where you play as Ash. <laughs> Buy yellow. I feel like that would like take the open worldness of Pokemon, like the RPG element, and just completely like it. Uh, no, actually, that's just a fact. It would just utterly destroy it. I mean, if I mean, you just put the regular story, you just take the storyline of Pokemon. And or or make it where your character's named Ash, and you just go through that. And besides that, you're, you're but you would also get stuck with his team. Technically, if they wanted to follow the story, if they wanted to fully follow the story like that instead of just going from gym yeah. to gym. Yeah, because I mean, have you seen the Pokemon? Uh, the Pokemon parody, uh, Ash version. Uh uh-uh. uh They literally remade Red into like the first season of uh Pokemon. Oh. So I mean, like you have to save Charmander and stuff like that. Like they actually made a, a ROM hack called like Ash. Oh, so you the, like, like they went and very they very specifically. They it wasn't ma- like just like all the gems and shit like that. Yeah, no, they they specifically remade the game to be Ash's story. Oh, that's cool. Like from the ground up. That's really cool. Yep, yep, yep. <gasps> Mew. Mew's a little cutie. Mew's a little cutie patootie. I'd stick him in a box and keep him forever. Um, oh geez. Jesus, man. um, yeah, you weren't kidding so, when you're talking about that pizza. <laughs> God, I love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> that little thing. Mew's just a little, Mew's a little, little fur ball. Little. Does Mew have fur, or is it just skin? Is he like a naked mole rat? I don't know. I've never know. actually put a lot of thought into it, but now that I think about it, what is he? <laughs> what is Mew? What, actually, now that I think about it, almost all Pokemon that don't specifically have like fur drawn into their stuff, do they have fur? Like, is Pikachu just a yellow rat, or does it have just blonde skin, uh, blonde hair? Well, Pikachu has fur. You saw him shaking it earlier. Oh yeah, true. Just, uh, to like dry off. But it's just like just some of the designs. It's like what? Like, does Bulbasaur is Bulbasaur a? I well, Bulbasaur is like obviously frog reptilian skinned. Yeah, like it's what gonna about, have that texture. 
Well, then there's like stuff like Togepi, where the outside's obviously an eggshell, and then does the inside feel like a hard boiled egg? God, that'd feel gross. Why <laughs> would you just hold that in your hand? I mean, I don't know. Wow. Robot lady. That girl don't got no reflections in her purpose. What did I just try to say? <laughs> you know another Dude, way in? Look, the ocean breeze would be wrecking Jesse right now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, not... I mean, it'd be messing up her hair. It'd be messing up James's hair. But, like, that crop top, that short skirt... She'd be fucked right now. Dude. Who's your favorite uh who's your favorite uh Pokemon like bad guy team? Oh organization? man. Oh man. Uh I really dug Galactic. But well, I honestly That was Diamond four. Pearl. Yeah. I believe. Or maybe they was oh, it. Oh that, that was that was right. That's right. Uh, wait, was it Plasma? No plasma. Was, Actually, uh, the plasma only one was black and white. I know. I think Galactic was black and white. I don't remember. But if I'm talking about the one that like I I really dig the most and I found the most fun, Team Skull. <laughs> like, yeah, Team I'll, Skull's fucking really. Fucking, I love Guzma. <laughs> just the fucking like the, the fucking like yeah aw uh, I like the music in Sun and Moon. I loved. Yeah, the music. Like I actually listened to the soundtrack. <laughs> I dig it so much. Sun and Moon was really, really good. I I still had never got a chance. I said this on the other podcast, but I still never played X and Y. X and Y was fine. Um and then I just I hated five or I hated black. I and white, there's so two I, there's two gens I never finished. It was black and white, black and white two, and uh Gen two. I've always wanted to go back to Gen 2 when I've played half of Black and White, but I got busy and I never finished it. Black and White never bothered me, in all honesty. I don't know what it is about Black and White, but something about but it. But I will admit, me. it did feel like a half step. Yeah. It kind of felt like they were preparing for X and Y, and then Black and White happened. <laughs> I don't know. I also just don't like the Pokemon choices that much in Black and White. Like, I don't like. Zekrom and Reshram that much. Oh yeah, the the legendaries were kind of stale. They were just like big generic dragons to me. Yeah. Uh I the starters were cool. I, I was I was fine with I Oshawott. Didn't like, I didn't like Tepe the starters that much either. Snivy. Snivy was my least favorite. Cause Snivy just Snivy turned into like into a snake. Yeah. <laughs> I mean Oshawa turned into Oshawa and Piplup kind of fell in the same like boat for me. Yeah. Uh and then uh, Tepig. Uh Tepig was all right, but it was another firefighting. Yeah. So I wasn't too too keen on that. Uh cuz actually I'm trying to think Gen 4. I don't remember what order I did, but I, uh, Gen 4 I actually I believe I played the most besides Fire Red. That's um besides Gen three, that's what I played the most was uh platinum, because I did fire red, leaf green several times, and I did diamond and pearl, probably at least six times. In all honesty, I don't know how many times I did it, but I did it a lot. Like but diamond, I always and went back pearl to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Three. Jesus, man, I forget. Did they get invited to this island? I don't even remember. But, uh, yeah, did they get invited? I feel like that's this is one of those like clue times where they all get invited to this mystery island. Uh, oh no, or what are uh, spooky island if you want to, and things go awry. <laughs> spooky island, Jesus Christ. Oh no! And I oh, fainted. And Brock no. saves the day. Oh, it's Nurse Joy. <laughs> wow, I completely forgot about all of this. <laughs> Nurse Joy, please. Uh, 
And see, with Mewtwo, he speaks, but he doesn't speak. He uses telepathy to speak to everyone. So now that I think about it, I don't actually know of a Pokemon that speaks other than Mew. Like, if any Pokemon speaks, it's usually telepathy. Now that I think about it. It's so weird. Why Why do these hallways look like something from Doom? Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're playing Doom 2. Like, it looks like the walls are just... And are made of just bones and flesh. Bones! Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. I love the designs. Like, the fucking... Like, I wish this was a thing. Almost. Because in like almost every animal, they all have distinct patterns. Because I've been, you know how I've been looking at lizards. Yeah. I've been wanting a lizard. They they all have so many distinct patterns and like shades and stuff on them. And I loved this movie, even though it was like the evil versions of the Pokemon. Yeah. Had unique patterns. And they done this once in Pokemon and it was Spinda. Because every single Spinda in the game has a unique pattern. No two Spindas are alike. So, like, I always love that. Cloning machine. Clones. But I always love that aspect because I'm just like, think how awesome it would be. So, like, every time you got a Pokemon, it had a unique pattern. Yeah, it, it like an actual animal, you know, be different. Yeah, it'd be unique. different every single time. I didn't enjoy like, that. You could, what, that Spinda? Oh. No, no, I'm saying I, I would enjoy, like. Yeah, like, think if you, like, got a Squirtle, and, like, it was a, a cool Squirtle that, like, it, I mean, it kind of take away from Shinies, in a sense. But, like, I would be completely yeah. fine if they just replaced Shinies with that. Like, if they just did patterns. Like, think of how cool, because you could breed poke, you could bring breed two of the same Pokemon together to get different patterns. Like, it would, it would literally be genetics. You would be, you would be breeding Pokemon to get a specific... Like look and color. Yeah, you like look and color. No, well, not necessarily color, but pattern. Yeah, because like with Charizard, you have the the stripes on the, or you had the splotches on his face, down his neck, and on his back. So what if you had to breed a Charizard with a splotch on his face and the Charizard with stripes on the back of his neck together to get a Charizard that had the the face mask and the the lines on the neck? Like I like I think that would make so many Pokemon teams more unique. Yeah, I like cooler i don't know like i i feel like pokemon is really lacking on the whole breeding side as well so i feel like adding pattern would be like a cool way to like yeah (laughs) yeah no i get you i um we've been talking about diamond and pearl a lot and uh i uh i want a diamond and pearl remake We'll get one soon since we just recently had the, uh, I think next year, I bet we'll get a new. What we'll if they do a... Diamond and Pearl reboot on the Switch? Oh, that'd be cool. I'd have to buy it. <laughs> That's when... I would straight up have to buy it. I mean, same. I can't wait for the Pokemon main title on the Switch. I honestly, I'm probably getting a Switch this Christmas. Really? I think I'm finally going to push myself over and just purchase it for myself. You, you think? Oh, no. We won't record anything, but we can play. <laughs> we, we can um, play Mario. <laughs> we can, we can I, play some Zelda and some Splatoon. I probably won't get Zelda or Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> I am not interested in either of those games. Just Pokemon and Mario. Just Pokemon and Mario and Mario vs. Rabbids. <laughs> it's a good fucking game okay um i've been really getting into real-time strategy stuff what was i gonna say oh yeah going back to diamond and pearl though um back when i was a uh, that was back, the first game i ever found a starter in really that was the first game i ever uh i ever pre-ordered oh really yeah and uh i remember i pre-ordered it because it came with this like oh, special no. uh special stylist holder yeah it was like this st- stylist holder and it had like the starters on it and then it had these two special like diamond and pearl sta- uh styluses there's like a, a pink one with uh palkia on it and mm-hmm. uh a blue one with dialga on it and i thought it was so cool and i was playing my ds and i brought it all with me one day while my dad like 
my dad like had to go out to uh his like spot in the woods where he goes hunting. Yeah. And uh I brought it all with me on his little ATV and uh just play Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> and uh apparently it had fell it fall out it fell out on the way home. So I'd lost it and it was like a week after I had gotten it too, so Damn. got pre order. Uh oh, time to watch the birthing process of all the evil Pokemon. Um, but good news is, is that I found it on eBay for fourteen dollars, and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gross! <laughs> I told you it's time to watch the birthing, dude. Ah, I wonder what they're gonna do for the Switch Pokemon game. Like, is it gonna look like Sun and Moon just upresed, or are they actually gonna like do something crazy with it? What if it kind of looked like Breath of the Wild with a Pokemon game? Well, I mean, that's kind of Sun and Moon on the Switch, just up Like, it'd just be... True. I mean, I get. I guess I'm just thinking better, like, camera control and stuff like that. Well, you'd have to. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm talking more about aesthetic choices than gameplay. Okay. Um, I mean, what do you think they'd go with next? Um, We've seen, like, European Pacific I honestly, Islander. We've seen... I feel like... Uh, let's see. What if what if for the Switch? This is this is stretching. This is on my like my dream Pokemon game. Yeah. Would to be ha- would to have all the regions together. And you start it <laughs> and you start at one. That's and you just the dream. Go. That's the dream. Yep. I wish. You just start one region and you And you and keep you, going. And then I you, wish. Um Nah, I I, I I do feel like the next one's gonna be more like Western almost. I'm expecting a Western one. I don't know. I feel like that's what black and white was, though. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, true. Um, because they all they all happen in like specific regions in the world. Yeah, they like we've had one that's in France. We've had one that's New York. Um, we've had one that's Hawaii. Uh, we've had one that's of course Japan. Um, uh, technically, what if we? What if there was one place in like Moscow? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think where. Let's have a Canadian Pokemon game. <laughs> I feel like at this point, though, they've kind of like run their course because they're like they they all have their main cities and stuff like that. So I I I actually don't know what it would be like for another generation. Um, unless they went like Super uh... Mario Odyssey and went Mexican. <laughs> apparently uh uh god I just love the fucking patterns I love the color scheme of uh Blastoise and Venusaur the green and blue on fucking Blastoise is gross as hell I wish they would have done like they did on Venusaur and just made it like a lighter blue or a darker blue so apparently all the way up until black and white they actually just base it off different regions of Japan so, like, Sino or Kanto all the way through Sino was just based off different regions of Okay, Japan. no, I can see that. No, I completely understand yeah. that. And then then uh, X and Y was, I believe... Like, Europe. France, yes. And then... Uh, and this was, like, Pacific... And Sun and Moon's, like, Pacific Islander, Hawaii, yeah. Oceanic-type people. And then... One of them was New York. I think that's Unova. Yeah. So, actually, no, we haven't had a Western, technically. Like I'm talking about cowboys. Oh, I thought you meant Western, <laughs> just in like Western society stuff. Like oh that. no, I'm talking about that wild, wild west. That'd be funny to see, like a cow. I see. I feel a like cowboy Pokemon game. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be really. I feel like that think sounds the, more like a town or like an the, area of. Well, a Pokemon. that's the problem with a lot of Pokemon games. Is like all the the main cities are the ones that have the landmarks or like the stylization. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I think that's where the, I think that's where everything falls is that like, yeah, we can say it's based off a region and stuff like that, but usually there's like this main point of reference that everything goes from. It's usually the map. Wow. We really haven't been talking about this movie. I, I, I just <laughs> like sitting here watching them fight and, and it's getting closer to the end and I'm like, wow, we, 
yeah, no, this is this is a weird movie talks. <laughs> yeah, this has just been us. This is a weird bad. one. We're just raving about Pokemon. Why do we love Pokemon so much? <laughs> it's some, I guess it's just something we both grew up with. So something we just both love. Um, Dude, he's gonna pile drive him. Damn, son, you just stone cold Steve Austin him. Wait, I don't even watch wrestling. Does that make sense? <laughs> I I don't know. I don't watch wrestling either. Is there a wrestling movie out there? Venusaur is such an underrated fucking Pokemon. <gasps> those are some cool ass Pokeballs. I it wish reminds those were in the me game. of what like Pokeballs would look like in Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, no, I I see that. I see that. If that makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I also wish they would put in the game. Mm-hmm. I wish. They would, uh, you would find artifacts in the game from the past. And I wish you could find the first prototype Pokeball. Oh, that'd be cool. Because they've shown it in the anime. It was like a cube. Really? Yeah, it was. It was Let me look that up. I haven't. Yeah, it's, uh, I just type that. up the first Pokeball. Because they've actually shown it. Um, But I wish you could, like, I wish Pokemon would have more history in it. Because it almost. Oh, wait. You can you can get it. Oh, can you? Um, but it always feels like per region. It's always like the history is always locked behind that region. Yeah, you have characters who are just like, yeah, I'm from Kanto. Yeah, I'm from Johto. Yada yada yada. But it's almost like, it's almost always like the history is locked to the region that you're in. Almost. So I kind of wish there was like more crossover. Yeah. But I guess that also makes sense in the world that we live in. Because when you talk about history, you usually learn about the history of your country and stuff like that. So it's like, I don't know. That's a lie. They'll just capture the Pokeballs. Two layer, two layers of safety. I can't, I can't find it. This is what told you. I can't find it. No ways. Here, I'll, I'll find it, my dude. You you focus on you focus on the badness that's happening on the screen. Oh no, Psyduck! Not Psyduck! Not Volpix! I hate Psyduck. <laughs> the character or the or the Pokemon itself? Both. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here here it is. It wasn't a it wasn't a circle. It was like. Is it this thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's we, the prototype. You had to like twist the knob. Oh, yeah. No, I remember. That was from, like, one of the uh, movies with Celebi, I believe. Yeah. It was pretty crazy times. Yeah, because you, like... You had I a- remember as a kid, the scene right here was just such an, like, anxiety-driven <laughs> part. <laughs> and, oh, not the Pikachu! I think the main reason why I'm, like, distracting us with different topics is that I don't want to, like... You don't want to get to the scene. I don't want to get emotional. I don't don't want it to happen. (laughs) I don't want to focus and get invested in the story of the film because I'm just like, no. God, this is is where it started to kill me. Right here with Pikachu running away and, like, trying not to get captured. I was always just like, this is... It's getting... This is getting heavy. (laughs) God, it's such a good fucking movie. <laughs> I look at those people that are like super Pokemon fanatics, so that like they just live and breathe Pokemon. Yeah, like a couple, you know, a couple people at our school. Yeah, um, and uh, art schools <laughs> filled filled with fanatics. But what were you saying? No, I was just saying like uh, I I always look at them and I'm like, wow, Pokemon's good, but I don't see why they like so into it. And then I and then I watch the movie and I'm like that. Yep, bit. that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a really quality show. I get where people people get like like it. And then Sun and Moon, the anime happened, and everything. <laughs> I don't get why people hate it so bad. I, I don't. I don't know. I love it. Like the animation style is fun to me. It's fun to watch. It's more dynamic. Like you like you said when it first came out, it's almost Studio Ghibli like. Yeah, and I really really enjoy that. You know what I hate though? All the newly cloned Pokemon don't have patterns. Oh yeah. Mhm. Crazy. Oh no, they're gonna clone Ash. 
Like, what if that was a thing? He had to like fight himself. Yeah, it's just like clone Ash. <laughs> oh, the sneaky ha. bastards! See what they did there? They 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 did the thing from the TV show they, 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 back they, in the they, movie. They figured it out. Yeah, Ash bite him. Uh oh. Break the machine. Fight the power. You know what movie we should watch? Toy Soldiers. <laughs> Toy Do you remember soldiers. that? Where all the toys come to life? Is that the one with the like... The army men and all the monsters? I'm thinking of a different one. I'm thinking of Indian Toy in Story? the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Not Toy Story. Which one are you thinking about? Indian in the cupboard. No clue what you're talking about right now. That's another one where like uh, it's this kid has a bunch of toys and they all come to life. Um, but it's oh a bunch god! Of, but mm. it's a bunch of like, but it it starts it has like an Indian like. I don't remember I think, that. I remember the uh, the mighty the mighty toaster. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that meow's walking on all fours. That's weird. Do meows normally walk on all fours? Why do I feel like that's off? Man, now I kind of wish that they would allow you to get those Pokeballs in game that Mewtwo was using. Those? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're such cool Pokeballs. Did you, I love that. The, that the was fa- a Pokeball and a Pokeball? Yeah, no. Because I, I, I like, it's just why. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> that whoa, whoa, that's, why? It's just two layers of safety. It's like putting a verification pin on your on your phone. Two way verification. It's two two way Pokeball. You have to open one Pokeball to get the Pokeball to let out your Pokemon. To, to Pokeball the Pokeball. To Pokeball yeah, just, the Pokeball. That's how you always store Pokeballs in your bag. You have like up to nine hundred ninety nine. You just store all the Pokeballs inside the other Pokeballs. It all makes sense now. God, you did it didn't pick up. Uh, last time you said that, and it did pick up. We got a comment about it. <laughs> did we? Did it really? Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> yeah, the, the comment was our, from our good boy, Link Lon. Really? It was just like, I could hear it. I had to turn it up to max volume, but I heard it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. Oh, man. I miss our, I miss our friend, Lincoln. <laughs> now that you say that. God. I'd have him on the podcast. <laughs> I feel like he could tell some pretty fun tales of his Mission Impossible fucking stories. That like God, he's done <laughs> some crazy shit. He's done some crazy shit for a really con- like a small uh, reason. <laughs> well, it's not even that. Oh snap! Ash is having a badass moment. I always thought it was weird oh, the way yeah. his arms moved. That, like, that drum it was, beat. It was always just like felt like he was swaying them to the side, other than like. Yeah. Forward and backwards. Oh, yeah. Say the day. Ash Ketchum. Here to play. Uh. Uh-uh. God picks. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the originals versus the clones. What's going to happen? <laughs> oh, no. Look at look at Vaporeon's eyes. Holy <laughs> shit. Why is his tail so fat? <laughs> Yeah, punch him. Yeah. That'll do a lot of good. Why'd Mewtwo even let him like get that close? Did he just want to make him feel like he had a chance? I guess so. And away we go. Dead. That 12-year-old boy is not nope. dead. You saved him. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was really... <laughs> that was perfectly timed. <laughs> oh, you sound like a little chipmunk. <laughs> She, it's bouncy. God, Mew is such a fucking goofball. <laughs> but don't make him mad. You won't I'm like, like Mew. Ha. You won't like Mew when he's mad because he turns into Mew too. <laughs> Remember in uh X and Y when Mew got ult like Mega Stone evolutions, and you had Mew two X and Mew two Y. Bro, Mew two, Mew two X. Looks like a badass. I remember one looked like a, a killer USC fighter, and then the other one looked like if the brain just took over. <laughs> yeah. X, X was the one that was like the fighting one. I don't remember. And I, I never got him. <laughs> I remember like somehow managing to get all the Mega Stones, though. 
That's cool. Well, because you could only because you of course had the mega stones for each of the starters. Yeah. So you and then had, you had to go around and find the one. Oh, but no, you you could only pick one. Oh yeah, for the starters. Yeah, you could only pick from Charizard, Blastoise, or Venusaur, and you could only have one of the stones. But I somehow I don't remember how, but I somehow managed to get all three. And then of course and the then, Ruby and Sapphire remakes came out, and you got all the Mega Swampert and. Mega Swampert was fucking burly. He was a big boy. He was a lumberjack of water. <laughs> I like Mega Sceptile. Eh. 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 I mean, I, I like Sceptile, so that's why. No, I get that. Well, what's weird is that I actually, my first round of uh, of Hoenite, the Trico. You know what I hate, though? I'll be honest, though. What's I up? really hate the design of Mega Gengar. Yes, and I really hate that because I Gengar is my favorite ghost type. Yes, <laughs> it's like <laughs> actually I don't remember what all I have on on my desktop. I have all my favorite types. <laughs> I like, but with when it's ghost, it's either him or Dusknoir. I remember always liking Dusknoir. I was I don't remember. I I like I have one favorite Pokemon. I don't have a favorite of all my types. Well, I do, but like I don't remember them. Like I have right to have I have to, yeah I have to have a list. Wow, from the you heart. get all that from just little Muse? <laughs> What's funny is that Meowth had to give that exposition for Mewtwo to understand what Mew was saying. Also, I don't think he did. Also, how the hell does Meowth know what Mew's saying if it's such an ancient legendary that no one has ever seen? Because he, he's a Pokemon and can understand Pokemon. But yeah, but like, but Mew, do, he, is Pokemon a language? I I think so. I think like Pokemon then how would can he like understand talk between you? people because that's like an ancient language. I don't know. Oh, hello. I think we're we're getting somewhere. Brother, my brother. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, whoa! He's doing the Naruto run there for a second. <laughs> 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 I just hate it. Wow, that was Tell that was some weird animation. For, we have got to end this war. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, some of these are just weird. Oh, I love man. that pattern on Blastoise. I just wish his face wasn't fucking green. <laughs> like they did it on Charizard and Venusaur, where it was just like darker or lighter colors of their main body, and then instead of like Blastoise change- is green. <laughs> And then all these clones, which one's which? You can only tell the starters. Well, besides Blastoise, apparently. And Squirtle. Wait, those are just two Squirtles from the Squirtle Squad. I don't think one of those is a clone. <laughs> Man, the Squirtle Squad Where's was the weird... water that these Gyaradoses <laughs> need to fight? <laughs> They're a dragon. They're... All right, yeah. <laughs> Gyarados Good? is fucking flying dragon. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> it's not even water. <laughs> what are we fat in for? Or wait, maybe Mega Gyarados is flying dragon. Yes, hit each other with your force fields. That's Dude, what will. Oh, once the first force field breaks, that's how. Uh oh, uh oh. I like it how it's just a spike in the air. That's how you can tell. Guys, who's the brothers that we're talking about here? I'm, I'm lost. Are we talking about how... Uh, Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, I got gotcha. you. What? Never mind. I don't know. What was that? <laughs> you, you like had to come, You said, what are you talking about? Oh, okay. And like, no one talked. No one responded. No, I, 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 I was about to ask a question, but then I caught on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no worries. No worries. We're all safe. Scyther's a pretty cool Pokemon. I, no, I like, Scyther's probably one of my I like, favorite. Bugs. I like Scissors, Scissor. Um, I like Scrafty. I'm gonna be honest here. Scrafty's pretty cool. Scrafty, Scrafty, you remind me of Scrafty. Scrafty, I believe, was in Gen. No, no, no yeah, I remember X Gen and Five. Y? No, was he, he was. In Gen he was y? Yeah, he's Gen Five. Yeah, he was. Fighting Pokemon, dark yeah, fighting, dark fighting. Scrafty's pretty cool. I like Scrafty. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like Sableye. 
I never. Sableye always seemed useless to me. <laughs> I like him because he was good in the card game. Um, uh, see, I like I collected the cards, but I never played a single round of the card. I game. didn't start playing the card game until high school, actually. <laughs> You just you were playing Yu Gi Oh. Did you ever have a fu- Did you have a dual deck? Did you have Did you have it? Oh, dual discs. Yeah, yeah, I have. I still have one back in my closet. Damn. Um, if we ever want to do some funny Why Yu-Gi-Oh is this mouth on? Fo- oh, oh, never mind. Stood up. <laughs> we're not much different. Why is yeah. that one a fe- Why is that one a female meowth? If it's a clone, it's not a female one, is it? I don't know, man. Those vocal patterns sound I like just a think it's just a cat. <laughs> How about you shut the fuck up? Pokemon are not like normal animals. I hate cat Pokemon. I still don't understand the rule in the Pokemon world. Are there other Pokemon? Like, are there other animals besides Pokemon? Or is it just all Pokemon? Because before in like the original series, you see like him eating hamburgers. And then you also see like... When they like in aquariums, you see fish and then Pokemon. But later on, when you like, when they do like shots that go into the ocean in like the movies, like you only see Pokemon. Yeah, you only see fish. Or, I, I or, think that's just a way to be more appealing, like cosmetically. What do you mean? Like, I feel like those times that you do see those fish Pokemon or the fish with the, the Pokemon, yeah, those fish are Pokemon. But I mean, like, it's just they didn't want to spend the time to actually like. No, I mean, like, they're clear shots where they're just regular fish, though, in Pokemon. I st- I think they're still Pokemon. They're well, just I mean, not- I- I'm saying like earlier on, later on, they fixed it to where like when. No, I know you what you're it. saying. I'm just saying that was probably just like a time thing, because like in the original 151, how many fish Pokemon did you have? <laughs> Like, it was probably one of those things where they didn't want to just make schools upon schools of fucking, like, Sharpedos. Well, I mean, stuff like that. I don't know, man. I, I can't answer the fucking questions about the creators of Pokemon and why they did the anime the way they did it. I'm just guessing what I would, or the reason I would do it. Like, I just don't, like... Those are obviously giraffe rigs. Okay, that one can be explained. <laughs> No! Oh, God. no. Guys, let's not. I can't look at the screen. All right, we're going to end this movie talks early. That's, <laughs> that's accurate. <laughs> I hated how Charmander was described as a salamander. Never made sense to me. What do you mean? It's in his name. Yeah, I know. But it's still, I never have seen Charmander as a salamander. It's just like a baby dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess that's what a lizard technically could be. Yeah, I could just God, I it. want a lizard. <laughs> I'm so upset the rules. Our school won't allow it. Well, no, I hate that I've I've gotten mixed fucking signals from the school and our and our RAs. Oh yeah. Like I hate how I'm getting mixed signals from everyone. I don't know what to believe. Stop it. <laughs> we have to quit fighting, brother. We, we can't have, go on like this. We must work together. Uh-oh. That was pretty cosmic. That was, that was pretty pleasing. How their explosions. I like went. how there's this cat. Mew like, 2 was on the outside and the Mew was on the inside, causing a nice little color combination. What were you saying? I just like how there's this like really ancient castle and then like a stadium. <laughs> it's Pokemon. Every place has a stadium. I know, but still, I just you, think it's funny. <laughs> like, I like to think it in the Pokemon world when, when like kids were growing up, they would go out and get rocks and sticks and stuff. And they would make po- like mini Pokemon stadiums in their backyards and stuff like that. I get you. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> I love little noises in, in anime. Yeah. In animation. Just like, I love watching the behind the scenes of those voices. <laughs> watching people just go, ah. All those weird noises. It's what? like, why? <laughs> you ever watched. Uh, oh, no. You ever watch hentai and just thought. Man, someone had to record this. 
I don't know. I guess if you like a porn star, it'd be better to be a hentai porn star because then you all all people know you for is your, your voice. voice. <laughs> so like, you just have to and like your sounds. <laughs> you just gotta like moan into a to like a mic and make money from it. So I don't think that. I, what do you think is more popular, hentai, hentai, or like hentai anime or hentai manga? I don't know. This is a really sad moment, though, so I'm going to avoid <laughs> that question. <laughs> I've tried to avoid it as much as I fucking can, okay? <laughs> God, this... Uh, God, this fucked me up as a kid and it'll fuck me up now. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> I can't even look at the fucking screen. He's not. He's actually not looking. <laughs> Look me in the eyes, Fisher. Tell me I what. Can't. Tell me what you see. <laughs> Tears. <laughs> I'm not fucking Just like joking. Pikachu. I can't handle this part. <laughs> it's a. Dugong. I'm not even wanting to cry. It's just coming. It's just here. <laughs> I stop it. The tears are magical. <laughs> They're fucking magical, and they're gonna bring. It'll bring them back. It'll, it'll bring, bring them back. Ash back. I don't <laughs> understand how, but it does, and it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I'm real upset right now. <laughs> I didn't want this to happen, and now it's here. This is a good movie. I tried distracting us for so long, and now we're at the climax. And I'm just, I, I have tears. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad news bears. I don't like this. See, the thing that I love about this is this is only an anime thing. If this happened in any other movie, like a live action movie, people would be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, what's on? going on? How are, <laughs> what are, why are tears doing this? <laughs> How does this work? That'd be really funny to do, though. <laughs> and the tears of Pikachu are the one thing that brings him back. Everything turns to day and the storm ends. The oceans are calm. <laughs> the oceans are calm. The, the clouds have gone away. And Pikachu has saved the, 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 the day. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm alive. Hell yeah. Or yeah. is this what heaven is? <laughs> Pikachu! Oh my god. Fuck a Why is Charizard not now, Charizard? Now the real question is, what? did they kill all these clones afterwards? Is there... Or did oh, they man. like like what they a... do with the clone Pokemon? Did they just release I them out into the wild? The ones, like... the ones that don't have patterns. They just let out there. Yeah, it might cause a weird incest pool, but. <laughs> yeah. Because we're fu Humans are cool. I just love the design of Mewtwo. I mean, he's got a weird dildo tail. tail. But that's like I just anime. really, I, I just really <laughs> like the weird like neck thing that he has. The thing. Oh that, yeah, it looks like a like, wire connecting from his like yeah back to his head. It's interesting. Oh wait, oh wait. Okay, <laughs> never there. mind. I forgot about this part. Yeah, I guess I just can't. Usually, don't get to see this part through my tears. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just kind of a blur. Uh, well, okay, where are you? You're just taking in the space. Yeah, they're going to see Deoxys and Arceus. <laughs> they're going to see God. <laughs> I don't get it. Cause like okay. you made tangible. Everything is okay. <laughs> you made tangible We're clones. Fine. You're just sending them the space. Don't worry about it. We're fine. They're gonna all just fucking explode in space. <laughs> they're not gonna. Hot diggity damn. Actually, now that I'm thinking about this and now that I'm thinking about the run times, the American version is 15 minutes shorter than the Japanese version. Yeah, there's a whole scene that's just gone. Yeah, because the Japanese version is uh, 96 minutes, and I think this one is... This is an hour and 15. Oh, never mind. Because 96 would be 30 over... Si no, that would be an hour 30. 
So this movie is uh, 75 minutes. Yeah. So a whole 15 minutes. Less. Crazy. Crazy times. It's just that whole like a, a explanation of Mewtwo. Yeah. It's just like uh, they find the ancient ruins that like they find the DNA of Mew in. Dude, I just want Jesus Christ. I just want in one of the animations you just see Brock's pants bulge. See, I just want I just want to see Dude, Rock, Brock is fucking buff as shit. Let's just say like, I want I want to see Brock in like the later anime when he's older and just be like Sun and Moon? Yeah. And, no, he's the exact same. I know, but I just <laughs> wish he was a bit older cuz then he would well, like a nurse If Ash like doesn't a nurse change gym. age no one can change age. <laughs> but like, I just want like, I just wanted to walk past like an Officer of Jenny or a Nurse Joy and be like, I keep getting older and they just stay the same age. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> It'd be really bad. It'd oh, be a really bad no. time. <laughs> no, I can't. That's no. <laughs> like, make Brock a real creep. <laughs> How did they not fucking see that? I understand Brock not seeing it, but Misty, <laughs> your eyes are wide open. <laughs> What? What was that? <laughs> What's weird is that there's some points in the anime where Brock's eyes actually do open. Yeah, they're and they're just black pupils. <laughs> it. Remember that time you saw Ho Oh Ash? Remember that time? That's right. Pikachu. I think I, I think he forgot. He he forgot. He's the only one that gets to see legendaries. No one else can. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. And now, 15, tw- over 20 years later, <laughs> we're still at it. <laughs> we're still at it. He's still... No, he's 11 now. They 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 changed it. He's 11. I thought he was 12. Is he 12? I don't know. Either no, way, at, he's only... At, a... at 10 years old, you get your first Pokemon. I'm pretty sure, canonically, in the anime right now, he's still 11. Really? I thought they, like, went to, did, like, two. Well, I, don't I don't know. He might also be ten again in fucking, uh... Oh. In Sun and Moon. Yeah, we're at the it. credits. We're here. We're already here. Oh, yeah. Let's do them chilled out grooves. Ooh. Those waves. This is vapor wave if I've ever seen it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, vapor wave the, is your the, thing. The dramatic. <laughs> the walk. <laughs> Walking into the sunrise. Four Kids Productions Incorporated. How diggity damn. Oh, man. I, I'm i really upset. Why? I don't know why I remember this, but I still haven't seen the new, uh, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, and I feel like that'll be a hoot and a half to go watch. <laughs> well, go watch it right after this. I gotta go help animate. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Or do you actually help? Well, uh, yeah. You're a liar. <laughs> no, I do, though. No, I just, what you, I, what I you just, do is take your laptop and watch the movie while you help animate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Taurus is a pretty cool Pokemon. I guess if you like cows. I hope you enjoyed this really weird movie talks. That's all if I'm If you gonna like say. the second episode of the Pokecast. And if you like the second episode <laughs> of the Pokecast, attached to Pokemon, the first movie. Uh... <laughs> Give us a give, give us, us a, a like and a follow. Up. Maybe <laughs> maybe we'll actually do the Pokecast. We no, won't. No, no. <laughs> It'll be like the second the second coming of Christ of Pixelmon. What is this song? I thought that was coming from my phone because it was such like a big change. I know. I was that was, like, I, that, did, that's why I said that. I was like, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. I remember for like one of my birthdays. I held it at a, a roller skating rink. Yeah. And for some reason, my parents bought me a CD. And it was it, it was the Pokemon CD that they yeah. released. that had all, like, the theme songs on it and, like, the Pokemon rap and stuff like that. And you had them play it. Yeah, and I played it the entire birthday. Man, the Pokemon And then rap. I kept it. And then you what? I kept it. I oh. still have it. <laughs> I recently cleaning out my room. I found my old CD case. Yeah. Uh, and it was a multi CD case, and it was Scooby Doo, and it had like gel in it. Yeah. And like I, I was flipping through it, and it had like all like I, I found as a kid, I only listened to movie soundtracks. 
Like, that's crazy to me. Why are they only playing clips of songs? I don't know. I have no clue. But, yeah, like, I, I found out as a kid I, I, like, basically only listen to movie soundtracks. <laughs> I mean, I did the same thing. I, I always listen to, like, The Lion King or, like... But that's all I listen to. <laughs> like, that's all the CDs I had. <laughs> Again, same. I mean, if it wasn't, like... um. I'm trying to think. It, no, I, anything that wasn't like Pokemon or not Pokemon wasn't like a soundtrack, you know, mm-hmm. was uh, a CD of my parents that like there was like a song. I that remember I liked from it. like halfway through elementary school is when I first started learning audio editing software. It, it was the first time I ever downloaded Audacity. Yeah. And uh, I got really into Alvin and the Chipmunks. Same. I got really into editing songs to make to them sound like, like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah. I don't know why. And I would burn CDs and I would listen to them at school. Of like Alvin, Alvin and the, the Chipmunk remixed fucking songs. Wow. I don't. <laughs> well, on that note, well, <laughs> oh, we'll get a little after, after credit scene. scene. <laughs> Hot diggity darn. I don't even think I, I don't think I've seen this. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is it just that? <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. There's a few no after credit scene. That's beautiful. I hope autoplay takes oh, oh. over. Oh god, no! Nope. Gotta run. Gotta run. Get away from YouTube. Well, well, boys and girls, that has been Pokemon: The First Movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. That's a long fucking title. I know we really didn't talk about the movie that much, but it's okay. You don't. That just means like, you don't have to really sync up this one. You can just watch it on <laughs> anywhere you, can just you watch go. Watch it as a podcast. But anyways, I've been tech. And I've been Fish. And this has been Movie Talks. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure to come back next Friday at Remember 3 o'clock. Remember to catch them all and all that good dumb shit I just said. <laughs> we'll see you later. That's the end.